Welcome back. The temperature is rising and summer gets closer as the weeks pass by. Here's your reminder of how to protect yourself from the harmful rays of the sun. Jackson Chastain explains UV radiation this week in WeatherWise. Meteorologist Jackson Chastain here with the latest edition of WeatherWise. Today we talk UV radiation, the stuff that causes your sunburns on those hot summer days, even sometimes on those spring and fall days. Now, as we get earlier and later and later into spring, we're getting into April at this point, the sun is going to be out more and more. And with that, that means the chance for you getting a sunburn, for you getting exposed to UV radiation increases. Now, uh, in the grand scheme of things, really, uh, visible radiation is really what we see. That's what causes all the colors that we see throughout the day. A lot of that reaches down to the earth. There's also something called UV radiation. That's invisible. Uh, invisible uh, rays of light that you cannot see, those come down and there's something called the ozone layer that usually actually protects us from a lot of this UV radiation and that's why the ozone layer is so beneficial to us is that it prevents a lot of the radiation from the sun from reaching down onto the earth and giving us really really bad sunburns. So a lot of that does get filtered out as it makes its way down to the surface but some of it obviously does not and as you get lower into the atmosphere through the ozone layer, you get two types of UV radiation, those being UVA and UVB that typically make it to the surface. And those are really the types that cause that uh, sunburn to occur when it radiates your skin, heats up the cells in your skin, and that causes them to burn. You get that red spot, you get sometimes get blistering. So uh, if you're wondering, if you ever wondered why you get sunburns, well, it's because very specific types of this UV radiation is making it through uh, the ozone layer from the sun and it's reaching the surface. Now on cloudy days, obviously, maybe not as much of a problem, but on sunny days like it is uh, this summer, it's going to, you're going to have a lot of sunny days. You're going to get more sunny days as you get later into the spring. It becomes a bigger deal and that's days where you get uh, six to seven uh, values of six to seven on your index. You get values of eight to ten and possibly eleven on really, really bad days. Maybe you have a high pressure system and just the sun's been out and it's really hot outside. That's really when it's at its worst. But as we get more sunshine, you're going to get more of these six to seven, eight to nine, maybe ten days as opposed to what we were looking at this winter when we saw a lot of more, a lot more of zero to two, three to five days. You get more cloud cover in the winter. It's, you know, it's just, it's colder outside. You typically don't see as much sunshine as you do in the middle of the summer. So that's going to be something to watch out for because uh, as nice as it is to go out and watch a baseball game, watch a football game, you're going to want to be paying attention to these things. Apply that sunscreen. Ensure that you are wearing adequate, adequate clothing if there is a high value on that UV index and just obviously find shade as much as possible because UV radiation, no joke, can cause a lot of sunburn. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me via email. Twitter, Facebook, but other than that, you guys have a great one. WeatherWise is brought to you by Four County Electric Power Association.